Oh, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are back, ready to give it to you in your ear, the sizzling subjects and the trending topics. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and for those who have yet to make up your mind, it has been the topic of conversation all day and night. Whew. Baby, I was, get, I was getting off the aeroplane. I was getting off the aeroplane, child. And here I am in my phone, in my teleo phone, depending on where you're from. And <laughs> here is Monique going in on deal. I said, girl, what? Ha-? I said, Monique, girl, we just let you in the house, girl. What happened? Well, Did she go in? Baby, she went, baby, she went in. She went out. She came back. She took a break. She, <laughs> baby, she walked <laughs> over. She walked over, around, through, uh, baby. If she was a preacher, baby, she, if she was a preacher, all she needed was a benediction after this. But here is a little yeah. bit of the dissenting diatribe. What? Because at what time did black men start attacking black women? What kind of real nigga is that? That's a bitch nigga. That's a bitch nigga. What kind of real nigga would ever attack a goddamn black woman? A bitch nigga. I feel sorry for Dale Hughley's family. I feel sorry for his motherfucking wife. Cause how do you suck the dick of a coward? Um, there has been some uproar in the news because D.L. Hughley and Monique were set to be on the same show. Uh, and there was a misunderstanding, according to Monique, from the uh, promoter. After she signed a contract on March the 28th, according to her receipts, um, that explained to her that she was going to be the headliner of the show, there was a memorandum that was sent out on the day after she signed the contract that disputed the contract that she signed. So when Monique arrived at the venue in Detroit in the Fox Theater, she was upset. She was miffed. She was mishandled. And she had a few words for D.L. Hughley, who was apparently the person who said, hey, I'm not doing the show. According to the receipts and according to the story, we're going to get all of the details. But according to the timeline so far, D.L. Hughley apparently said, I am not going to be opening the show. I am the headliner, so I'm closing the show. And I, did I do my D.L. Hughley really good? I'm closing the show. So uh, <laughs> You did. You did fine. <laughs> it had enough spice. So when Monique arrived at the studio, now... <sighs> Okay, she got the news, and she's like, what the hell? The, the hell? And she said to the audience, I started not to come out here. I started not to come on the show. But, right. you know, I came all the way to Detroit because y'all needed me to be here, so I'm going to do this show. Now, a lot of people were upset in the way, in the fashion that she uh, that she delivered her information. Now, I'm going to be first to say, I am Team Monique. I don't give a damn. I'm just <laughs> right or wrong. I'm still going to be Team Monique. Now, the way she delivered this I'm like, Monique, but wait, girl, wait, because, girl, like, ugh. But at the same time, I can imagine how pissed you are and how mishandled you feel and how, uh, you know, a brother like DL, who got the same contract that you got, decided he was going to go behind your back. And change this. Now, what I would have done as a diva, I would have flipped tables, I'd have thrown things in my dressing room, I'd have brick broken vases and everything, cussed hollered. And when I got on the stage, no one would have known what happened. No one on stage, I mean, no one in that audience would have known what would have happened. But me and DL would have had some issues and I would have whipped that promoter's ass. But we'd have went on and did what we had to do. Um exactly. So apparently there have been receipts that put out. I know I'm going way around the story. Apparently the receipts have come out. And like I said, Monique put out her contract saying that this is what I signed an agreement to do this show. And I was supposed to be a headliner. And then there's the memorandum. A memorandum does not usurp a contract. Let's be clear. A memorandum is not a signed document that states these are the, these are the deliverables. These are the expecteds. You know, that's what a contract does. And these are the things you're promising to do. That's not what a memorandum does. That's just to update information. So apparently um, DL has not put his his contract out. Now, if both of these people, DL and Monique, have a contract that says they were supposed to both be the headliner, then Monique is going to need to apologize. And they're going to need to get in that promoter's ass. Um, but at the end of it all, it's it's just an awful situation. It's it's like you at the bar. You know what, Monique is like. 
Monique is like that one, that family member that you know is coming to the barbecue. And you be like, oh, we finna, we finna turn it out. You know she gonna turn up. But then when she get too much to drink, she the one that end the party just like, <laughs> like she turned up the party. Monique is that family, right? Rather right than now. turning the party up for in a good way, she turns it up so high that now the party done overbursted, and now we gotta go home. Now, now we gotta, gotta go home. Go. We gotta go home because here go Aunt Mo acting up again. Right. All right, so I, I've taken up much of much of this segment. What are what are your thoughts, Lioness? Go ahead and 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 sound off. Well, here's my thing. I agree that I am Team Mo. I would believe that Monique is a legend. Monique is a woman in this industry that has worked very hard to get where she is, and she ain't lied about nothing that she said so far. Not a word. Now, one thing I am, I, I one thing I am is I'm gonna check your receipts, and I'm on I'm gonna know the spirit by the spirit, baby. I look back at your at your at your track record. And Monique has not been proven yet to be a liar. Loud, out of order. You can say whatever you want to, but you can't call this black woman a liar. Mm. And, and Lee Daniels confirmed that because he did not rebut a thing that she said. He apologized and moved on because even he knew. And, 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 and in a world where everyone feels they have to clear everything up, neither Lee Daniels nor Oprah ever actually cleared it up either. Because and I and I do know because of his apology that they have some culpability that Monique was right about. So then now, if I take the right that she had back then and add it to the right that she does now, I believe that she's right. Mm -hmm. But here's the reality: a weaponized truth is still a weapon. Mm. Girl, I me, believe that there that is a down. time Ooh. and a place. Mm. Mm -mm. Go ahead, go ahead, continue, continue. And, that, and, that, and there's a time and a place to handle things. And more importantly, I want to speak to the deeper, more sinister thing we do, we, we do to men in particular as women, and I'm going to talk about it. When we have a problem with men, the first thing we do is emasculate them. Mm. The first thing we do is we, anytime you have a problem with a man and there's some type of conflict or there's an issue or there's a verbal disagreement, the very first thing that women do is we call men the B word. Mm -hmm. We tell, we, we say that they're gay. So now what we're not talking about this, which is not a conversation. And I think it's because as a community, we're all apathetic to being, to being, to, to having our sexuality thrown around in a crazy way. But no one's talking about how she took DL's name and tried to imply that. And, and I quote in different clips of that surface online, Mo can be heard calling DL a coon, a B name N word. She even makes appears to make a comment on his sexuality, saying, "Your name is DL. What the fuck is stand for? How far you been and over?" Mm. Mm. For me, and there was for me, it's the idea that every eve, any man that is evil, gotta have some gay in him. There's gotta be like some sinister scar from the scar villain from the Lion King in every gay man, and that that is the reason when get when men act up, it's that gay in them that's making them be evil. And that narrative that she's pushing forward by by emasculating him at the first sign of him being a liar is putting forth the narrative, once again, that there's something wrong with LGBT people, that they're not to be trusted, that they're shaky and shifty. That This man is not gay. He is married with kids. So why are we putting that narrative forward about him being DL and about him bending over? I just hate that every time a black man does something that a black woman has an issue with, you got to be a B word. And when they say B word, they're saying it to refer to gay men. Yes, yes. And to further the further the point that you're you are making, it's like that's that's worse than the lie that he may have done. That's worse than the maligning that he may have done. Like him being gay is to top it all off. He he might and, be he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's like the, the period on the sentence. It's like and to top it off and that nigga gay. And that for me sounds is so disgusting. And to hear all those black people stand up clapping and laughing and oh hell no nah, ha ha. That really is disgusting. When she ran across that stage and laughed her after she said it, all of it was disgusting to me because I know that that logic is the reason why LGBT people are still treated by their own the way that they are, particularly black LGBT people. It's because somehow we believe that gay is this evil thing over there that's trying to take advantage of us. And particularly as a black woman playing into the DL narrative, forwards that Toni Morrison ancient idea that there's anytime a man is lying to you, there's gay shit involved. And that's a problem. It is a problem. It's definitely a problem. And ladies and gentlemen, for the record, um, the DL stands for Daryl Lynn. That's what the DL stands for, just Thank in you. case you did not know. But yeah, this is an ongoing situation, and, and we're going to see how this all plays out because there's got to be a conversation after that because... Ugh. But Mo, girl, 
Sometimes you can't bring it all to the barbecue. I mean, I mean, shoot. Like, I ain't even get no tater salad. Like, I'm just saying. So For real, I didn't even get a chance to get my cocktail. I just walked into the barbecue when she acted up. It's like, damn, Mo. <laughs> right. Now, you know what I want to know? I want to know what the DL, how did he have to walk out with all of that egg on his face after that and have to give a whole <laughs> well, you know, I'm wondering. I'm, I'm wondering. I'm, I'm wondering if he even performed because just like they got the video of her, why isn't there any footage of his response? Or did he just not respond and respond and just did his show? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, but I'm wanting to see that footage myself. Mm, well, we shall see, ladies and gentlemen. Let us know what you think about this story and all the stories we talk about because we love to know what you think, baby. We got to get on up and get on out of here. We hope you have enjoyed what we've brought to you. And if you have, continue to listen to us. We come your way each and every weekday morning, beginning at 6 a.m. Eastern. Oh, we're going to do it all over again. We're going to bring you a sizzling subject, a trending topic, and we definitely going to bring you our unfiltered opinions. Say goodbye to the people, Lioness. Hello, hello to everyone under the sound of my voice. Enjoy your day. Keep your head up and keep it moving. This is the Lioness on the ones and twos, giving all y'all the blues on We Are You Morning Crew. Bye, y'all. Are you Download the We Are You radio app. Turn it up loud. Use the shout out feature to talk directly to your favorite station. Louder. It's available on your app store. Search W E R U radio. One word today.